Okay. Um, can, yeah, okay. Um, so this is the uh, Verify Multimedia Use Task. Um, both uh, Christina and myself, Stuart, are going to present today. Uh, I'm going to show you, uh, do the overview and then Christina will follow through to some of the results. So the, the crux of this task is all about trying to find uh, for multimedia uh, items, whether they're fake or real, and try to find automated ways to do that classification. Um, first of all, we'll define what a fake is. Uh, it's it's uh, quite important for this task. So there, there are several types of fake. This is an example of a fake location. So it's actually a real photo. It's from the Eagles of Death uh, concert in Dublin. Um, but when the Eagles of Death went to Paris, uh, they had the terror attacks, and uh, people started syndicating uh, this image as examples of uh, them in concert at the Vatican Theatre, where in actual fact the event did happen at Vatican, but this wasn't the image uh, of that particular event. Another type of fake is uh, uh, wrong time. So this is uh, historical images being re-syndicated, and you get things like pictures of the Eiffel Tower. Um, they often light the Eiffel Tower up in different forms. This was for Pakistan. They also uh, showed the French flag, um, and they do that when different events happen. So you quite often get uh, images re-syndicated uh, as if they're happening uh, for real. And the third is uh, sort of basic photoshopping. So this is where, um, it, whenever you get flood events, you see us a lot. This was Hurricane Sandy on the left. Uh, you get photoshops, for example, sharks swimming down um, uh, streets. They're completely uh, fake, they've just been photoshopped in. Uh, the one on the right is actually, I think, uh, a guy in uh, London. He was giving a tutorial on how to fix a laptop, and someone photoshops on a suicide belt, and suddenly he's a terrorist. Uh, so this is the type of thing that uh, particularly people like journalists need to get a good handle on, and they need to know if these uh, images are fake before they try to use them. So for the task definition, uh, the main task is all about uh, just making a simple uh, fake uh, or real classification. We have as input, uh, we take the uh, contextual information from the post, so that's the Twitter uh, tweet. We also have the image data, so we have some image forensics running on the, uh, the image file itself. And we have the author's profile uh, as access to uh, the different system. And each of the task uh, participants just need to determine for each tweet whether that is a fake or real uh, image. There's a subtask that we found on the previous year that the uh, images, uh, the, the, the tweet posts was the most informative type of features. So what we want to do is try to give a, a, a fair look for the, uh, the image uh, processing approaches. So as a subtask, we uh, also looked at just using the image features to try to promote that. So to the corpus, um, the corpus itself, it's created from um, uh, a couple of sources. We used uh, Topsy, we also used uh, the Twitter searching and streaming API on a number of events over a uh, reasonably long period. Um, we added to those, um, we used uh, Google reverse image search and TinEye to do near duplicate detection to expand the image sets. We also looked at uh, journalist debunking reports, for example, Washington Post. These are reports of known viral uh, hoaxes. Uh, and we did some human inspection as well to add, add extra images to the data set. And then finally, we uh, employed some uh, crowdsourcing campaigns and we did some micro uh, worker work to try and again in increase the number of uh, events which are presented. So here's some, uh, some data. Uh, this is the development set. Uh, we've got about 17 events. Um, 17 events and there are Yeah, I got a few facts. So there are about 400 images and about 15,000 tweets in the development set. It's a little bit unbiased. You can see some, uh, four of the very large events have most of the tweets, so the participants needed to be aware of that. And then for the test set, which the participants didn't see until they needed to run their test runs, um, here we have about uh, 36 events, so it's going to be a lot larger. Um, we have about 120 images and 2,000 tweets from that. And it's, uh, we're now starting to get quite a good representative range of lots of different types of events, uh, lots of different news stories, different hoaxes, uh, real events as well. Um, and some of the, uh, quite a few of the events now have both real and fake posts as well. So it's becoming a much better data set. If I had a... Hello. Hello. Uh, so I'm going to present the evaluation and the results of the task. Um, for the evaluation, we used uh, classical information retrieval metrics. We compute the precision and the recall. And so we set uh, for as main evaluation metric the uh, F score. 
participants were also allowed uh, to mark a case uh, as unknown in case uh, their algorithm couldn't produce like a binary result. For the main task, we had uh, uh, the target class fake one, and for the subtask, the number. Overall, three uh, teams submitted, plus one for, uh, from the organizer's side. Uh, for the main task, we had 10 submissions, and for the subtask, uh, two. So just one team submitted. Several features uh, were used in the approaches. We had text features, that was the most common. Also, post and user metadata. For uh, the image case, we had image forensics video quality metadata. We had uh, one team that uh, created topics of posts and uh, extracted like statistical features from uh, these topics. Uh, also text similarity of posts uh, and trusted sources attributed in text. And finally some uh, external sources uh, found online. Here we have uh, the results uh, of the main task ranked by the F score. So uh, some comments about what worked in this case. Uh, apparently the approach that what worked uh, best, that performed best, was the one that used uh, text similarity between the posts. Then we had the classification uh, methods uh, with uh, uh, features like uh, post-based, user-based, uh, and forensics. Uh, then we had uh, the text similarity uh, approach, uh, also was combined uh, with uh, the use of external sources. Uh, that was, um, uh, that was uh, actually not very fair for the task because uh, they used like, a, a database for, uh, with uh, known images already known fake images, but okay. And then uh, we had uh, text um, uh, features and a hybrid method to use also visual. And in the next uh, uh, diagram, we can see how the organizers team ranked in comparison with the other participants. Concerning the subtask results, uh, we had just two runs. The first one used forensic features and the second one used also uh, text features uh, derived from the image. So uh, our future plans about the task is actually to use more posts from uh, other social media, not only Twitter, like, uh, in this, in, like this year's case. So use Facebook uh, and other social media. Of course, uh, uh, the aim is to extend the dataset as much as we can. Uh, we would like to consider the fake real distinction and to define uh, more uh, wisely what type of fake to include. And uh, finally, to think about different evaluation metrics, not only the F1 score that uh, we include this year. So that's all for me.